Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to restore a database which is part of Always On Availability Group. In this demo, we'll be learning number one, how to remove database from Availability Group. The reason we're doing this because you cannot restore a database which is active part of Availability Group. Number two, how to restore database on primary and secondary. The reason we're doing number two is that uh, first of all, our requirement is to restore database on primary. Now, once we restore the database on primary, it is out of sync with secondary and and you will not be able to uh, add that database back to availability group and join with the secondary. So um, primary and secondary, the database needs to be uh, basically in sync. On secondary, if you are joining, in my case, I am joining uh, to an existing database, uh, that means that you have to basically um, restore that database in, um, and it needs to be in restore mode in order to join and I'll show you in a demo in a second uh, number three how to add database to availability group uh, obviously I am uh, using the join part reason is that uh, uh, I have different um, disks on the secondary that I want to put that database so let's go ahead and perform a demo so here is uh, my availability group right here sales AG and I have one database sales orders underscore new that database needs to be restored um, maybe the scenario is that something went wrong and I have to restore um, from full backup uh, last night so how, how would I uh, restore this database when it is part of uh, av always on availability group uh, first thing we need to do uh, there are certain steps we need to take we need to remove the, this database from availability group and let's take a look on the secondary let me take a look on secondary as you can see that is synchronizing right now and on uh, primary it is let me go ahead and refresh this synchronized so it is part of uh, actively part of availability group so our first step is to remove this database from availability group uh, right click on the database in if you expand availability always on high availability and then availability group go to the uh, availability group where it, this database or, or your database that you wanted to um, restore is part of that availability group go to the availability databases right click on the database and remove database from availability group so click OK that database is removed now we can go ahead on primary replica we can go ahead and restore our database to whatever the point that we wanted to restore so um, my next step is I'm going to go ahead and restore that database right here let me refresh and it should be uh, online mode right here so I'm gonna go ahead and restore my database to a particular uh, backup maybe last night backup so I'm gonna go ahead and restore the database so uh, I have the backup up here at central location in my case it is on a share so here is my full backup sales dot BAK that I wanted to restore so I'm gonna select that click OK and take a look on files if the restore file right here is original FNL this is my data file this is my log file and restore as FNL so you don't need to click on relocate all files uh, in my case my secondary databases are on different file system uh, file location so I have to click on secondary when I will go ahead and restore this database on secondary which which I'll show you in a second so I'm okay right here so click on options and click on overwrite existing database with replace and restore with recovery so let's go ahead and restore this database All right, our database is restored. Now we have to sync this database as far as data goes and uh, transaction log goes with this backup. So we just restored the uh, database on primary replica. This has become out of sync with our secondary replica. So what we need to do is basically um, restore this database on secondary replica as well. But one thing that you need to keep in mind is that uh, when you uh, 
restore the database on secondary, it has to be in restoring mode in order for us to add this database back and join that database with the secondary. So in order to do the, um, in order to restore on secondary uh, and in restore mode, two things availability group join requires. One is that you um, uh, restore the full backup and the transactional log backup. Uh, if you just restore the full backup in no recovery mode, it's going to give you error. So might as well uh, have transactional log backup. Let's say that this is the database that you, um, this is the state of the database that you wanted to keep. So I would recommend, this is much easier way, there are other ways too, but uh, I would recommend that go ahead and take the transactional log backup of your uh, database that you just restored for the purpose of restoring on secondary database so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and right click go to task backup and click on transactional log backup so that i can use this transactional log backup to restore on secondary so i'm going to remove this and i'm going to add that central location again And I am going to sales under sales orders underscore resend dot tn that transactions. So click OK. Go to options. If you wanted to append overwrite, if the same database file name exists, you might as well click on overwrite all existing database backups. So click OK. Transaction log backup is completed. Now we can use the full backup that we restored on this database and transaction log backup that we just took in order for us to have our secondary in sync. So let me go ahead and refresh this. I'm going to go ahead and right click, restore the database. And I'm going to click on device, click on add. So right here is going to be my full backup and transactional log backup. Here's my full backup and I'm going to go ahead and add that transactional log backup that I just took right here. So click on OK. All right, database backups are added. We're going to go on, click on file. And as you can see that on destination, my file location is G and H, and the backup file location is F and L. So we're gonna go ahead and click on relocate all files and folders so, so that the restore as G and H would work for us. So I'm gonna click on option and click on overwrite an existing database. Otherwise, you will not be able to restore that if it's in restoring mode right here as it shows. So click okay. Oh, I'm sorry, we had to click on restore with no recovery mode. I wish I could cancel it, but um, we'll have to do that again. All right, I'm, I'm gonna have to go back and restore the database again, because I didn't select the right uh, option. So go back to device, select your database backups. files, relocate, options, override an existing, and no recovery. Click OK. So it should be in restoring mode for us to be able to join this database once we add that database back to our primary replica. All right, our database is restored 
successfully and it is in restoring mode so we're gonna go back to our primary and add that particular database that we just restored back to our uh, availability group add database right click on availability uh, databases select your database up here and click next and click on join only I am using join only because I have different uh, set of uh, disks on, on my, my secondary so click next and connect to your secondary replica click next click next and click finish and let's take a look on the detail and as you can see that it has joined successfully close let's go ahead and refresh databases on our um, primary replica as you can see it's synchronized and we're gonna refresh the databases on our secondary replica as you can see that it is synchronizing so this is how basically you restore database if you need to restore database which is part of always on availability group this is um, not a very um, really robust way but um, there are other ways probably uh, using scripts and all that but this is much easier way that I found and I wanted to share with you and I hope this helps